G'day guys, my name is Anthony, Anthony Wells. How's everyone's day been these days with lockdown and everything else? It's been pretty uh, slow at the moment. Um, I've got some big ideas about the chair now, which I'm really happy with. So I'll show you what I'm going to show you and what I've been doing with the chair. Um, and I've broken something. And I can tell you it was a spoke. The spoke broke. Don't know how. I cleaned the chair today. Not for the video because it's dirty. So all in under there got really dirty. As you can see, it's starting to get dirty again. It gets really dirty. Like it was just caked in dust and stuff. So these are the uh, spinnergy wheel. The sorry, emotion wheels. Now I'm just moving that forward so you can see it. Um, if I touch this part here, it will go forward and it will go really quick. I don't want to do that because it's not very nice. Um, it scares the shit out of you, basically. Um, and it, this chair is really fancy. It has a remote control function where I can control the wheelchair from sitting on the phone. But because I'm recording, it ain't going to work. I just worked it out in my head. <laughs> so, um, I've had these wheels since June last year. Um, if I was going to recommend them, I would say definitely. They cost about $10,000 New Zealand, so about eight grand uh, US maybe, and about four grand UK, um, 4,000 uh, pounds. And yeah, these are originally from the UK, I think. Um, I haven't seen much people reviewing them, so I thought I'd just give a bit of a video on my wheelchair so you can see what this chair is about. Now as you can see, the um, there's gears here, so if you wanted to uh, make it harder to push, you can. So at the moment I'm minus three. The reasons of pushing is easier and you don't need to um, have to struggle to push. So. This is what I'm talking about, this thing here. I'm not touching it because the wheels are on, but it will take off. Um, so yeah, as well, so it's got the four lights um, on the front, the four lights there, um, that also fired actually, I didn't notice that. Um, and that is battery, um, telling you how much battery you got on it. And that's a charger there, it's a magnetic, including a button so you can turn it off and yeah do what you want so, so this chair is i think 2016 be with me as it's shaking I'm trying to use a selfie stick so i can not get shaky hands so if i turn this around um i might just turn that wheel off so you go, pardon me, farting away, <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> so this is the front of the chair. So this chair is made in 2016 maybe, it might be four years old, I'm not, I can't remember now. It tells me on Facebook, so I took photos of it um, back in the time. And so, yeah, and the best thing about the emotion wheels is you can control them and stuff, but the other thing is you can, um, if you are wanting to measure how fast you're going, where you're going, distance-wise, calories, everything, the app is incredible. I'll show you a wee video down below um, in about a few seconds of how I mean by the um, app working. It's incredible. So the app does cost a lot of money. It cost me, I think, 500, no, 600 New Zealand dollars. Yes, that's expensive. Um, who I got the wheels from was ACC. Um, the whole name of it will be down below. Um, I can't tell you what it is again. So yeah, so um, it's a reasonably custom chair for my dwarfism. As you can see, I've got a foot plate 
uh, is a lot higher than most people's foot weights. And I've got, I think those are four inch casters. Um, I measured these casters the other day because this one here has been bent. You probably won't be able to see it, but I can see it looking at it. And I must have hit something really hard. And all of a sudden I'm having a wee bit of difficulties wheeling it. But one thing I don't understand, why does hair get in behind in there? A lot of hair. It's amazing. I don't know how it happens, but that happens a lot recently, and I'm concerned, not concerned, but it's just really weird it's been happening, and today I had to get the scissors out and cut the hair away. Now, because this foot plate has been damaged a hell of a lot, as you can see, um, under here, I've been hitting walls and hitting gutters and other things, so it's one foot plate. It's been damaged, probably worse than anything else. I used to um, open doors, um, hit concrete, um, a whole heap of things. It's crazy how foot plates get damaged badly. So on this top, I've got some, sorry about that, uh, skateboard grip. Now, I brought this after watching Wheels to Walking, I think his name is. I might get that wrong. Um, and he was gave me some really good ideas about my wheelchair and I, I just thought, hell, that's not a bad idea. So, um, yeah, I'm going, I, at the time, this came in strips and I only had one big piece in the middle, but due to the fact the big piece uh, had problems, I had to cut it in smalls. So, as you can see, I made an artwork, but in a second, this there is a hole and that's for the free wheel um, I don't use the free wheel because this chair wasn't made for the free wheel it's really annoying when chairs aren't made for things so as you can see I don't use a cushion um, there's a few reasons why the cushion is about two inches high and because I have small legs and stuff or small um, hands reaching, arms, sorry, reaching down. I can't physically um, reach the wheels with the, the uh, cushion on. So I've had the cushion off for nearly uh, four years now. Um, now, after coming in here, they're going to get me a cushion, which would be like an inch or half an inch thick. Um, I was using a cushion with... Um, like a honeycomb one, really cool, comfy one, um, but yeah, I don't have any pressure sores or anything like that, I do move a lot, and I can't feel my buttocks, but I can uh, move it lots, so I haven't had pressure sores touch wood for a very long time, I think my last ones would have been 07 or 06, so as you can see, the this here and this here are completely different for some reason i don't know how it's happening but it keeps coming down a lot i fixed it about two hundred thousand times annoyingly so another thing is i'll show you uh, um, i speedo don't bother waste of time doesn't work with uh spinnages or even this wheelchair um, I had a wireless receiver over there. I bought it for like $12 online. Um, yeah, $12. What a joke. Ever since I got the uh, new wheels, I can actually um, do everything from it. So it's a much better option. So yeah, um, I'll just uh, show you. So this is the back of the wheelchair as most wheelchairs are. So that's Melrose. Kiwi chairs. Kiwi song. I can't say it. Concept is. Um, yeah, I love Melrose chairs. I've had never had any other brand but Melrose. Um, Melrose is made here in Christchurch by Philip Melrose um, after having an accident. Um, and he's made all my wheelchairs. I would never say no 
to one of his, his ones that are amazing she is, built good quality, um, never had any problems, uh, nothing. So there are changes about to happen to this chair, as you can see I don't have any tipper bars, so the next stage of uh, getting this chair back to safety and health and safety on behalf of uh, these people at want me to get tipper bars to the fact I've fallen out of this chair half a dozen times since I've been here and it's all to do with the wheels um, being too powerful and quite uh, fast at times so as you can see I've got some red reflector tape I don't have a torch here to uh, So this is a, uh, it's not going to work, <laughs> it ain't work, the reflective tape, I bought it online pretty cheap, like $2 a roll, um, red, um, it's there if someone, if I'm wheeling at night time, people can see me, and I've got some mites, I've got on eBay, for about 10 cents, about a dollar each, and none of them, none of them actually work. Uh, that one doesn't, that one's bright, so, yeah, it's not the best lights for a wheelchair like this, I have thought about putting some decent ones on down the bottom, but, yeah, I don't know where to put them, so, I've got a few ideas, but I'll show you under the chair in a second, so give me a moment, and I'll just do that.